Good evening, this is the Nerds to Human, and welcome back to our gunpowder only campaign as Spain. And indeed, you join us as the crusade begins. Cordoba is in our sights, and soon it will fall to us. Now, of course, we did try and get our crusade launched at Granada, but uh, our Pope friend wasn't having it. Still, 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 we can uh, make some good progress here today, I would think. There are some reinforcements, but as far as I can tell from having a little poke around, I don't see too much going here. Yes, there's the Portuguese allies as well. That's lovely. Good to see them in this part of the world. Um, the other significant thing last time, after a pretty solid start, was, um, yes, the inevitable Sicilian landing. Quite why they're here, I don't know. They probably haven't even taken Tunis. Probably haven't taken Sardinia or Corsica, but they've come right here because, of course, they have because they're scum. So, um, we'll see if we can take out good old King Roger, but I don't know if we'll manage to pull it off. It's uh, a tight a set of forces over here, so it could be interesting. We can't recruit anything because Adagotha is way too weak. So, right, that one could certainly be interesting. Elsewhere we have Teresa over here, who will hopefully be getting married to Joao uh, soon enough. And uh, just need to make sure we got her up to a five on her old charm before that. And of course, his popiness is well under our thumb. In case you have forgotten any of the diplomacy nonsense, we're uh, allies with both the uh, Portuguese and the Pope, which is excellent. Uh, some good bribing going on there. The Moors, of course, we've just declared war. And the Sicilians are about to do the same to us. I suspect um, in spite of us getting the Pope on side early doors and the Portuguese we will have to do a bit of work with our other neighbours because the you know, the French aren't very friendly when we've been chatting with them and of course yes our reputation hasn't had a chance to get better yet so we have to work on that one here today and you know well with Sicily maybe they'll get excommunicated maybe we can go on our own Sicilian expedition as Aragon would in history so yeah let's look forward to that but for now probably time to end our turn well it's a new turn and we have ourselves a betrothal for Uraka el Valiente we do have a replacement uh, diplomat ready to head over to Rome so perhaps we should take him he's 40 but to be honest after rejecting a really old guy on like the first turn we haven't been given any options so you know what it's not the worst set of things that we could probably do with an extra general right now, as there is another army heading up to Leon once again. So, not sure where you're going to appear, my good sir, but we'll take it. Right, we've got 5 tenths and emissary over to Milan. That's easy enough to do, my good sir. So, we have ourselves another marriage. This time to one of our daughters, and he is in Toledo. Okay. Now, you could get over to Zaragoza could be what you could do because yes yeah, sorry i didn't even point this out yet sicily have indeed decided to take us on um zaragoza 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 okay vasco do you reckon you can be like the real life conqueror of zaragoza alfonso el Badiador, who took it i don't know like 11 11 18 there we go my brain remembers things and yes um so we're a little bit ahead of schedule here in 1100 but um, to earn that name, the Battler, you're going to have to um, yeah, fend off this force, which looks like it's pretty much the same, but we've got the walls. So, although they do have a faction leader, and we need have a 10 man general unit. So, it could be very interesting indeed. Okay, as for relations, poor, poor, poor. Until we get our reputation a bit higher, that is going to be a problem. And, ah, yes, the Poles have joined the war. How lovely. The Crusade. The Cordoba grows. Okay, so we've got Spain and Portugal. Not Portugal, sorry. The Portuguese are around. They're actually helping, by the way. I did see in the end turn there. These armies have been drawn towards each other, which is going to be helpful, I guess. Uh, pay for us on Leon. That's always nice to see. A bit of economy and some hand gunners over in Toledo just to give us a few extra men. We are pretty much straight down the middle. Interesting. Just having a poke at Zaragoza, they do actually have a ram and a ladder already built. So this with only basic large town walls. Okay, it's very much going to come down to a bit of street fighting. That could be particularly painful. So yes, we'll ignore that one for now. 
Let's get you into the city, my good sir. Good, he managed it. We needed that. Just a little bit of extra going our way. Public order plus 60. Okay, so I have a couple options here. I could go in and attack it straight away, but I wouldn't mind seeing if we can pull these guys out to come and take us on. So we're going to move all the way to the bridge there, just south of Cordoba. And it might pull them in. If it does, great, we'll take them on the field. If it doesn't, well, it's just one turn. And actually, one turn where we get all the free money because there's no upkeep during a crusade. Very important point for us to keep an eye on. So you go keep an eye on that. You just go stand that bridge. Make sure we know what's going on. Actually, you go over there. There we go. We can see the Moorish army now. Good scout. Good, good scout. Right. So from what I can tell, well, our boat did get smashed in the uh, in turn, by the way. But um, yeah, we. from what I can tell, there's no reinforcements at the moment. If nothing else, we blocked them from sending them through at an earlier point. So we'll take it. As for you, Sicilian princess, stupid, stupid lady. Um, we're going to send the boat over here. Was it Milan we're supposed to chat to? Um, okay, yes, Milan. Milan, we need to go chat. So that'll be simple enough. We're almost there right now. They'll probably just attack this boat for no reason because they're Milan. Uh, but we do need someone over there near the Pope once again. Although, for now, he'll probably be very much happy when we go and take the Crusade target. So, is there much more to do this turn? Well, Leon up here can defend itself just about. We do have a little bit of money to splash, so we'll just get them retrained. I don't think, don't think we'll need a fourth unit, but a bit, oh, slight concern if there's a general there. So should our good friend Emilio Cortez head over to Leon, he probably should. And yeah, I mean the river's obviously blocking him anyway. He's got a while before he gets there. So we can float between the two uh, and just see what's going on. As for everything else, well I guess we'll have to end our turn. See what's what. And the Moors want to take us on outside of Cordoba. That is magnificent news. We have some handgunners and a bombard attacking us from over the river. In our rear, we have these guys, the reinforcements. So we're going to have to think about how we want to do this. But we've got a massive pile of cavalry, by the way. I mean, I know we're generally doing, doing using gunpowder here, but I think that's pretty darn good. He's got some very nice retinue for a 19-year-old. It's a shame he's going to have to die, but he definitely will very soon. Sorry, my good sir. Right, let's head in and let's take out Cordoba. Into battle we go then, and I think the plan is immediately take out the army crossing the bridge. We've got our bombard shooting across at theirs now. They are definitely in range of, I'm afraid it's this general. Maybe the guys at the back as well. I'm not 100% sure what their range is. My range is slightly elevated. Yeah, actually... That might, oh, yeah, might just be close. We'll see about that. We missed, completely missed. Archibusius, if you would like to shoot and do something good for once, that would be absolutely lovely. And shoot, 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 shoot. You'd like to think that something good was happening from this, but not really. Okay, well, it turns out, oh, <laughs> their own men, turns out, are the uh, the best thing uh, to use against them. Okay. Uh, likewise, you guys then just do a flank in position, thank you. And that'll pretty much be what we want. You guys just hold them in position. Our cannon's going to shoot at their cannon. And if we're lucky... Ooh, actually, you pushed yourselves into a more awkward position than I wanted. Just shoot him. That'll be fine. Over here, have we hit the cannons? We haven't hit their cannons. So it's just cannon v cannon. Oh, in comes fireman shot at our king. That was very close to our king, actually. Do you want to um, start just plodding slightly further out of the way, actually? That's probably a good idea. Okay, Archibusiers are terrible in hand-to-hand, -hand, of course. So we don't really want any of that. I'm just going to send these guys in, I think. Yeah, actually, send these guys out. They are not going to do any good there. Get Mr. Uh, Princey over there. Grand, 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 grand. And these guys are down to 82. They're down to 86. Fortunately, they're doing a little bit too much damage for my liking. Take them down! Take them down! These guys aren't shooting, unfortunately. 
guns for you down. What are you doing? Oh dear, yes, they don't really like shooting at their own men. Um, they're going to start doing it now. The prince is there, right? Just charging. Just charging and finish off this utter useless force. Right, get the general to charge in and just finish him off. Lovely stuff. That's 16 of them. Don't really care about that. We need to take care of these guns. Have we hit either gum? We've missed the guns. Right, well, uh, if we're going to miss here, yeah, our gun is our uh, bombards are utterly useless. So we're going to send them over there. We need to get going now, actually. Their Sydney's guns have already got pretty close, so we need to rearrange. We're going to race into position there. Sydney's gunners are moving forward. The general's hanging back, but we have a lot more cav than him to do the job. Why are you facing that way to shoot? You should be facing them. Yes, fire at will. Fire at the four men who are already fleeing. Utter, utter nonce is the lot of them. Turn and shoot those Sudanese gunners, you utter filths. Right. Okay, well. Well, 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 well. Yes, you should be shot by now. Thank you. We are now largely in the position we want to be. They're doing weird angular things, which is the last thing we currently want. But I guess at the very least we can get ourselves into position. Ribolt. Start shooting at the Sudanese gunners, who apparently are shooting us. Do they have better range? They might have better range, you know. Um, okay, fine. Well, anyway, the, the Ribolt's shooting them. We'll shoot these handgunners as they come in range. And, you know, I'm just going to charge the Sudanese gunners. Maybe they're better range. I didn't realise that. Well, Sudanese gunners, you've gone up in my estimations. I knew you had slightly more powerful guns, but I didn't realise you had the range. Might be the slightest hill. I don't know. Anyway, these guys are foolishly coming in. They're getting shot. They're fleeing. Oh, lovely stuff. Oh, good. General, just pull back. Actually, well, actually, they're, they're going to charge us. We'll just run in an awkward way. Lovely. I'm sure plenty more shots are now hitting my general. Let's just get the general beyond them. Let's just get the general to run beyond. This guy can... He's just mopping up the bombards. He can finish them off if he wants. Right, all of you, just take your shots. Take your shots. Yeah, do you see? They're just a little bit awkward about this, aren't they? Right, you get into the general. That's fine. You can have a general v general battle. And the rest of us, we're going to get ourselves in position... So all of you run into a position where you can go and do something helpful, damn it. Plenty of shots coming in from both sides here. The Sudanese gunners, as I said, turns out their range is actually quite helpful to them. Um, cannon, I'm not sure you've got much use at this point. What are you doing? They're not my troops, so let's not worry about it. Um, chaos and nonsense is happening. General is fleeing. Okay, well, we're not going to catch him with our own, like, uh, heavy cav, are we? I suspect they're lighter than us. Do have a go with the cannon, though. Have a pop at him. Why not? We're not on a flaming shot, so we might might get away with not shooting our own men. Okay, we are doing a pretty good job here. But you guys are all bunched together, and you're not really in a shooting line. So just get yourselves in a lovely, lovely shooting line. You do the same. Get in a position and try and stick to it, please. Right, General's going to start running in. If he wants to run into handgunners, I'm happy with that. Let's go and get our General around this rear. Okay, into handgunners. Perfect. You can get chopped down by them. Easy. You. Shoot. You. Shoot. You. Shooty, shooty. Good. Good, 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 good. Right, General's here. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, of course I told him to go and attack the General. Yeah, go and attack the General. We'll go take those out since they're at the flank. I don't mind using the cavalry now. We've already been doing a bit of gunning. Um, all of this is nonsensical. Look at them standing around just with the utter lottery, which is shooting guns in this era of history. Who knows what's happening? But anyway, at the Battle of the Guadalquivir, we have claimed the victory. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll just shoot them down. Um, they're going to get away, General. That's the whole point of you being there. supposed to mop them up. Okay. Right, well, I think maybe missiles go to hand-to-hand -hand combat and don't actually get yourselves brutally, brutally shot. Uh, we'll mop up this whole unit. Yeah, one problem we're going to have on this is, yeah, the lack of light cav. Uh, we might not always mop them up as efficiently as we like, and they're already not that good at that on this game compared to Rome. We've been playing a lot of Rome recently. So, yeah, trying to get on top of all these units as they flee is going to irritate me profusely. But I guess it's just prisoners, and 
I don't know, we might want to release the prisoners because I fancy we've got this under control. But, uh, well, it's a good victory. And I reckon we can do it again. Yes, our most glorious victory. Well, it is Los Navas de Tolosa. Oh, it's, you know what, we skipped that part of history. But uh, this is near enough, I suppose. So, yes, King Alfonso has claimed his victory here today. Uh, in real life, I think it was Ferdinand III, he went and took um, Cordoba. About 12.36, we're way ahead of time here. How are we looking in terms of inflicted injuries? 8 to 35, 3 to 44 for the generals, perfect. 19 to 36, 1 to 18 for the revolt, nice, good work. Hang gunners, yeah, they suffered a bit, they're right at the front. Uh, 21, 29, 69, 94. Okay, and bombards did naff all. Right, for what can war, but endless war is still breed. Okay, that's a fair few men, but we're looking for chivalry. So the very least we'll ransom and we'll get a bit of money for it. Interestingly, they fled south. Ooh, I'll take that. So they're heading back towards Portuguese territories. Oh, the Sicilians have decided not to attack. Very interessante. Muy interessante. Okay, we can't really hang around here forever because if we hang around much longer, they're going to start deserting. So we're going to have to head in this time and finish this off. But I'm quite happy with this. Portuguese have pushed these guys away. Yes, very nice indeed. I'm happy with for the ransom. Um, war declared Portugal and the Moors. Ah, they haven't joined the crusade though. They've just decided to attack. Interesting. Right, so we can get ourselves a chivalrous knight. Excellent. Up to five chivalry. It's good to see that. Fierce in battle. Oh yes, we've already seen that. That can be uh, good for dread, but it's his it's, it's extra morale as well. He'd be very good at leading his own force, but for now, we've got to keep on going. Right, so we've got the Siege of Cordoba, and like in real life, we have the Alamorgaths, or I'm going to say this spy right here, who's uh, already in the city, going to help uh, throw some of it over to our side in the battle. So, 32% uh, chance they're going to succeed. Indeed he has, because history says that uh, yeah, some distance inside will open up and help us in this assault. So, straight into Cordoba we go. And he's down to seven men, because at the same turn he hasn't had a chance to get back. Faltering courage. Oh, that's lovely. We managed to... All right, we managed to neutralise Conscientious Trainer. Don't know that he's got anything else. I'm concerned it's just about assassination... Naive assassination. Apparently, we should have an assassin on this guy, but it's too late for that. Um, he is neutral in terms of yes, his morale because his chivalry is at neutral. Fine, eight to five. I think we've got a very good chance here. We'll make it a night battle just to make it extra beautiful. Okay, let it in. Well, conveniently, the spies have, of course, opened the gates, which means that uh. Yeah, the AI have done what they usually do, which is put men on different entry points. Um, is that a battered wall over there? No, it's just a shadow, Thomas. Okay, yeah, so they've now spread themselves out, which means we're just going to run straight through. These towers aren't shooting us, of course. The only one that could be a danger... I'm going to shoot down that one, because they're shooting these gunners could be a problem. Um, yeah, they're going to go the wrong way. Don't go the wrong way. You guys... Come down a side street. Yeah, this side street would be nice. You head around there. I'm going to have to tell them which way to go, aren't I? Right. Cancel all your orders and just come over here, you utter numpties. These streets are way too small for cavalry. Yes, pathfinding, even even, even on small units like this, uh, albeit we are on a huge scale, but I've made them a quarter of the size. You can't get them to go anywhere. Into the next round of nonsense then, which involves the robot getting one shot off and see if they can achieve anything. Maybe they can do something. 73 is going to hopefully go down. They are shaken. 71, 70. See, yeah, 68. Not a lot of damage, to be honest, my good sirs. But if nothing else, they're already wavering and the handgunners are going to start shooting. A little bit late for the setup. They've stopped right in front of the revolt, which is hilarious. If no one actually stabs Steve, they might actually manage to finish this. No! Okay, that was not when they started fighting. I'm not happy with that. 
Right, you guys head in, get the ribbon. Well, the ribbon men can just keep fighting, to be honest. They can just stand there under fence. And, all right, get you round the back. General, you're also in that part of the world, aren't you? You're back there. Maybe just start pushing forwards. We'll just get to... Uh, We'll, we'll try and close this out that way around. Are you going to go all the way? Come on, keep running. One day this week could be grand. Handgunners, unfortunately, are just their frontline infantry at this point, but they are pretty darn solid. Ribel is getting chopped down at this point, so I'm going to ask them to get out of there. But they've done a bit of work at the start. Good. They got them shaken. They did about five damage. What more would you expect? Frankly, I expect nothing. You have met... Oh, you're back there. Yes, of course you are. Uh, okay, where is the king? Because I don't I suspect you're gonna be the one foolish lad who gets themselves forward and killed, aren't you? Doesn't look like it so far. But it's just a bit of a grinding match on the bodyguard. Okay, down they go, because quite frankly, the bodyguard are not much better or very similar, I would say, to us. What are we? 15, 18, and obviously we are more like 11, 13. Okay. Yeah. Not too shabby, actually. You, my good sir, you've made it around. What? Where are we, by the way? Oh, there we are. Excellent. We have the plaza. I wish we just let us actually just slam into you, but whatever. We'll just turn. We'll do a terrible charge. It probably won't work. We might just have enough room to make the lances appear. Lances are not here. Okay, fine. We tried and failed because they got in the way. Okay, well that's fine. The general's going to plough on forward. You get back into them. If they want to face us on this plaza, we'll at least line up a full and uh, bloody charge. Okay. We've lost control of the city. Uh, general's now absolutely squashed. Better not be the prince at the front. It probably is because he's, I suspect, got himself a suicidal tendency. Okay. We're in a decent enough position there. General has turned back into us once more. These guys keep chasing him down. General, pull out of there. We don't need our prince dying here today. That's our alliance with Portugal, damn it. Right, you, into them. He's in position to get charged. You, move yourselves over there. Just dodge them. And there we go. Okay. Is that a death? A noble... How did you die, sir? How did you die? That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, the crown prince has somehow got himself killed. I don't know how he pulled that one off. Down goes the general. We did plenty to keep you alive there. Down goes the enemy general, and the battle's pretty much done as soon as he killed himself. Well, there goes our only male heir. Well done. That does mirror history, in fairness, but not the way we're supposed to do this. You know what? Sometimes it's just the way it's meant to be. King Alfonso will do the whole thing himself, damn it. And maybe, just maybe, I'll have to be a child from the alliance with Portugal. Uh, actually, did he have any children? This was the Alliance of Portugal. Oh dear. That might be problematic. We will release the few men who are left. Excellent news. And with that, Cordoba has fallen. Now, okay. What are we going to do? Cordoba, must remember, it is already content. Sacking would set us up for a while. It's a minor negative, but we'll just take it on this occasion. So... Successful crusade. Get a bucket of money. This will keep us going for a long time. Uh, seven units gain experience. Only, only seven, not eight, sadly. Because Prince Rodrigo got himself killed. There were like 20 men left. Utter fool. And with that, we're still allied with Portugal. But it says one marriage alliance with this faction. Interesting. They never had a child. <laughs> Oh dear, that's just where it's supposed to go. Right, Prince Emilio. Okay, yes, he is now the new prince because he's the guy who just married our elder daughter. And of course, um, we have Teresa, who's oh, up to five now. Very nice. Yes, Teresa is going to try and marry the Portuguese general over there. Okay, well, 
this is fine. It's just the way it's meant to be. This is what happened in real life. So we're just going to mirror that. Okay. Right. So, Oraka Cortez, you should probably get some children sometime soon. That would be lovely. be nice to, you know, have a future. Because considering you're now, what? <laughs> One of only two men alive. Oh, dear. Men alive. There are men alive here somehow in Spain still. Winning first, he can a little bit of dread, but because of Crusader, up to eight chivalry. The Pope is delighted with us. We are an inspiration to Christendom. Sisley's lack of follow through is a bit unfortunate. So, Britain expands a Knight of Santiago. Beautiful. We gained uh, chivalrous rule, and we have a new factionaire who I would have loved to be on that crusade. We do have to join the next one. But he does have some very nice wifey traits. Very loyal, which is good because, um, yes, he's pretty much all we've got. You so head back to Toledo for now. We do have buckets of money, which is probably a good thing. So what are we going to do with said buckets of money? I think first and foremost, we could probably do with some troops. Actually, not the worst idea in the world. What can Cordoba get? So it's another large city because it's the same setup. Of course it is. So, mines, 160. That's decent, to be fair. We get paved roads. We need connections between our cities. Um, Toledo, Toledo, Toledo. Get a port. Let's just get some basic infrastructure around. Merchant's Wharf. Is that worth very much yet? Uh, 501 against that. It's it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more. It's going to turn those basic ones to 439. It's going to make that 500-odd rather than 391 to 439. Okay, is there something more urgent? There might be council chambers. Let's just get the public health up. We'll get the public health up in the short term. Zaragoza. You can't do anything right now, which is a big issue. Get a town hall. More mines. More mines are good. We should probably actually go straight for the mines where we got the money to spend. So we have ourselves. I wasn't attacking them. It's just the exact spot they were at. Now, we're going to sit next to them because if the Sicilians want to go and get their troops on the boat, they're going to have to attack us and bring the Portuguese into it. Oh, excellent. That could be a great way around that. Okay, Cordoba is going to be a few turns until we can get some troops. We've got two turns until then. Um, first thing we need to do actually is build a church. So let's just build the church first. Um, I say we should do that straight away. I might just leave it a sec and just see if his popiness gives me a quest for it. Just to uh, keep him continually sweet. Okay, Toledo, you get a unit. And Leon, you get a unit. Zaragoza, we probably just need to actually send some in that direction. So I'm going to send you over there. He'll make it in one more turn, which is good. Because um, that road at least helps with all of that kind of nonsense. Fine, hopefully Sicilians will turn back. If I'm very lucky, they'll attack our boats together and things will work very well indeed. So, um, all right, you are the new factionaire. Even though you're not actually, you know, you're you're not actually of my line, you're just a, a randomer from the, from the realm. But you know what, that's fine. We are, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be the Imbred Habsburgs version, okay? We're just gonna, we're gonna breed with decent men within the kingdom. He's the best man we could find. He's a bit old, but he will have to do. He will have to do. He's only five years younger than the king, for Pete's sake. Okay, you know what, my good, my good girl. You're getting your. Yeah, let's give her one more turn to get a bit more training in her. See, so we can get up to six with another little mission there. Have another chat to Portugal. Uh, see if you can do anything with them. Oh, can you make Roger? You can't make it to Roger. See what you can do. You can make it part way. If you make it this far, you should be able to talk between the two of them. And next time, maybe you can either do some work with him or get us a new general with Joao over there. It still considers that we've got this alliance, but I suspect this one marriage alliance will disappear uh, at the end turn. I don't do it very often, so we'll soon find out. Well, in the end turn, Sicily decided to plod up towards Zaragoza once again, but they haven't besieged it this time. So we're going to see if we can offer... Oh, yes, they decided it wasn't worth it, didn't they? And normally, on this game, 
Normally you have to give them a fire beating first, but normally when they decide that the war was a mistake, you can get a lot of money for it. So let's not quite go that high then, fine. But 3,000 might be a good way of doing this. Give me a big bucket of money. Let's make it slightly less. They're bankrupt apparently, which is potentially the problem here. Fine, make demand. Give us 500 for eight turns. They'll almost certainly reject. Aishkarabamba. Okay, how else can we make this neutral? I demand map information. Okay, fine. We gain something from them. Hostilities cease for now. They're going to wait all of us again, I imagine, but let's go bring our handgunners, our spare lads, over in this direction. That's nice work, uh, my good lady. Still on five. Fine, 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 fine. Imperials are over there. We'll get you out of the city in case they decide to attack. Uh, but we might have a chat with her on the uh, the new turn. Okay, we're sending some of our lads around down here from Leon. We got given some extra Archibusius for speaking with Milan. Um, don't really want them, but you know what? They'll at least keep the city filled out for now. Probably over in Leon. Need to get myself a diplomat for a chat. Now the Pope has had a word of us. Not about building a church in uh, Goldaba, but about getting Zaragoza to um, be improved. So up to eight, 68 percent and a thousand monies and good reputation with the Pope. Now the Pope, the better your relationship is, the better the rewards you get basically. And he just, if he doesn't like you, he just threatens you instead. So that's not the worst situation for us at 56. How much is that region right now? It's only 55, so actually Cordoba's more than uh, you are over there in Zaragoza. Fine, we'll build the church next turn, and then we can start converting that around. End of term report is much better now. My days as our finances um, flown up the Byzantines because I can't make any units, have tons of money. And more than Portugal ceased, that's fine. Milan apparently hates us because Milan are dicks. So what do we want to do? Well, we mainly just want to take out this guy. Okay, so that's a fair significant force. We'll just let them come towards Cordoba and we'll see where it goes from there. I wouldn't mind never diplomat. Um, I know I just did that in Leon as well, but I do need more around the map. I've got one here and the princess isn't necessarily going to be around for too many more turns before we find her and husband so we'll see about that i'll see it just chilling out with his serpentine god he scares me and um okay now now we got the new trap for the moors instead sicily apparently yeah you could go for valencia but no no you're going for me instead aren't you you bums an intriguing battle potentially ahead for us here because we've got the moors sieging at Goldaba once again and okay we do have reinforcements can't quite make it in time which is slightly problematic uh, we do have more reinforcements as well also not quite able to make it so they, they we're kind of going to force them into an attack this turn at this point relations report poor and poor I just bribed them to with uh a bit of diplomacy, which made it back to so-so, but clearly it was right on the border. So there we are, back to that. Okay, Zalagotha has itself a small church. Get yourself a priest. That will slowly turn that round. Pedro's in Cordoba. That is great news. We'll build ourselves the mines just to keep our money going into the future. Leon is a council chamber. Your mines are only worth 80. That is not a priority. City hall, don't think I'm too worried about that immediately. Do we want a merchant's wharf? It is good. So you know what? We'll get it at this point. Lovely stuff. Faction announcement. We have another. Yes. Um, I don't know if that's a male or female name, quite frankly. Um, looks like another girl. More girls. Excellent. <laughs> One day there'll be a male in this family, but uh, it's not today. So financial, slightly gone down. It's absolutely fine. Faction announcements, we just looked at that noble in rule was always nice. The besieging we already saw. Oh, oh yes, of course, there was a candidate for adoption. Um, I clicked away from that. So yes, siege expert, knight fighter, promising commander, generally loyal and religious. 
This is for uh, Prince Emilio and not for the princess. That's fine. I'll happily take him. Um, that does mean I guess he's got three of his four slots taken up. But to be honest, I just really would like an extra general. So we'll have him for the time being. And okay, that's just shoved him straight into this defensive siege force. That is probably very much for the good. Okay, we have these guys here trying to get some conversions on. That's nice. There is a Moorish family member on his way across the border. Let's get you there. Yes, you can actually reinforce as well. But you can only get to the reinforcement army and not all the way to the siege. That's good to know. You head into Zaragoza over here. You'll see the Sicilians have retreated. And I think, Teresa, it's time for you to finally make your move because, oh yeah, João is going to be... One of my... Oh, he's got poor disciplinary. Oh, yes, that's plus 10 morale. My center movement points isn't great when we've got siege equipment, but okay, we're going to make you do well. Wife is noble and fair. Royal ties, reserved. Poor disciplinarian is a two-way thing. Promising command, turn of command. Okay, so we've got João, which is great because it means that we've now got someone else to come and get some business done. Now we want to keep building up our force for Valencia. We are spending our money a little bit, but not too much. It's very nice that sacking of Cordoba. We're going to try and just settle in Granada because it is a castle and that'd be much more chill. Uh, Zaragoza, what do we want? A town hall. Let's just get that. It's always nice to have a town hall uh, in play early doors. And then Leon and diplomats can head over to the boat. We need to get some people to chat into some of the uh, people up north so next time we'll have to build a boat we'll save on money by picking our time correctly so i'm not going to bother about blockading we'll just blockade the unofficial way that doesn't upset everything so joao has got married to our princess teresa beautiful together they can form the kingdom of portugal beautiful and I'd like to think that's what they're currently doing. But Portugal do exist on this game, so we'll have to see how that goes. If you are interested, by the way, it does still say that we've uh, got a marriage tie, one marriage alliance. So I guess until she dies, technically, that's still the case. So um, to be honest, you should probably just get remarried. And there's no children. You can just claim he was away on campaign and died. It's pretty much what's happened. So... We'll keep trying to convert this and we'll head into Granada soon. We don't need to be too extreme with conversions on this occasion because all of Iberia is pretty 50-50. So it isn't like when you go and take uh, yeah, the Holy Land over here and you have to you have to exterminate basically and burn it all down and send eight like priests in there. But uh, we won't have to worry about that. Um, obviously my extermination sack video, um, I explained how exterminating destroys the infrastructure of the city. Um, there obviously is a, an occasional time you want to use it. Normally the Crusade is exactly that. We've already fallen down to nine. Everyone's doing quite well, actually. Not too bad. I suppose there aren't any wars between Christian factions right now. It's only, yeah, it's only that one war declared on me. Oh, yeah, the Poles. <laughs> the Poles just sent an army. Where are they? They're going to appear one day. It's going to be excellent. Oh, no, they, obviously the, the Crusade's ended, Thomas. Um... Good point, the crusade has ended, but they, they they will never get a diplomat over to the Moors. So they'll just have their reputation going into the gutter forevermore. Okay, so my diplomat's stuck in Cordoba. To end our turn and see how this goes. Slightly worryingly, he is going to come straight in and not allow me to pull all my reinforcements. It's kind of now or never because they have nothing left to, to uh, defend Granada. So we'll head in there and take that soon enough if they fail. Now, I say if. They have two mercenary arquebusiers. Mercenary arquebusiers are slightly better melee, worth bearing in mind. Uh, woods and snow, that's not going to be the case right now. Uh, it is winter season, I think. Yes, yes, you can see snow up there. So yeah, it is winter season, but obviously we're down in Cordoba. Nada. Um, so a few handgunners, a few Sudanese gunners. They're some of the guys I released before. I don't mind that I release them. They should be easy breaks. Uh, that handgun is obviously got some proper melee on them. As are damaged, we haven't had a chance to fully reheal. So, kicking out to generals, we've got the general advantage. I was um, trying to use 
trying to use my infantry more than the generals when we took on a battle earlier at uh, the battle on the river there yes but um on this occasion i might have to be as efficient as i can be with the generals no need to uh, muck around this time let's just take them down so um this general is nothing special but a little bit of dread bearing that in mind it's worth having a little look at kill alfonso the crusader who has eight chivalry which is a lot of morale boosts needless to say um so yes plus three command fighting against muslims chivalrous rule confident defender as well that's nice to see his silly beliefs though let's just let's just forget about those okay in we go it is defense of cordoba Okay, we have a bit of a bold play at the start here. I'm just sending my cavalry immediately out. And uh, we're just going to completely perplex them um, and just charge down the general. Because I think, honestly, that's going to be a great way of just turning the uh, the whole battle in my favour from the very start. So we're going to do that. They won't want to shoot their own men. Um, I do have a plan for the plaza as well. That will be excellent. So we'll just get on top of him immediately. Hopefully we'll be fine um we'll just have to assume that's the case bombard are coming in for some hand-to-hand -hand. that's okay this might delay them i don't really know what's going on um are you guys actually shooting that's unusual normally you don't want to shoot for your own men but okay apparently they want to have a go at this that's not great actually kind of kind of don't like that actually <laughs> let's go and just poke them because normally yeah, we'll just poke some skirmish mode out of them. Um, there we are. They'll be distracted for a moment. Let's go and charge back into him. Right, let's just go and clear off the general. <laughs> and we've uh, hopefully at least just disrupted their little movements for a moment there. Down to four. Let's chop him down. Yeah, you see now they're rearranging. They're rearranging. That should give us enough time to chop. Down to two. Let's take him out. He's running away. The fiend. The fiend is running away. Okay. Get yourselves around there. We're going to have to chase him down. Bombard is getting itself in a rather silly position. Albeit it's just about managed to shoot down the walls. That should mean they start moving forward. Indeed they are. So General, don't get yourself distracted by them. Uh, back, on the, back on the bodyguard. Oh no, they've got us all tied up again. Uh, let's just uh, slow this down. Okay, he's down to two. He was still on two before. I have a feeling this might start going wrong before it goes right, actually. Yeah, they're shooting like crazy at us. Trying to snipe him, but we just can't get to him, unfortunately. And they have too many guns. They're too powerful, really. Handgunners will just charge them. To Oof. General, down to 12. They hit us in the back with those guns there. Right, before before we lose our king. <laughs> Run away. Archibuses are specifically aiming for the bodyguard and they take in out number two. Can they take out number one and do something useful for the first time in all of Total War history? The answer is no. Okay, well, the walls are no longer ours. Excellent. This tower is still ours, though. It's going to keep shooting for a while yet. So these guys can just do whatever they can do. But eh, it's fine. We'll see how it goes. I think the bodyguard's challenging us to an actual duel here because uh, he seems to be charging right towards our general. Okay, that's fine. Let's make this a duel, my good sir. Let's uh, let's let's have it. Duel for the city of Cordoba, and the king is right next to him. Actually, they're actually at each other. <laughs> but I think there he is. He's going to go down. He seems to be half running away. He's turned away from the king anyway. Come on, let's just end this so that no one else has to die. He's killing us, actually. We're probably all full of gun wounds, but no. The bodyguard's done the job. Excellent. And with that, we can stop sending our general over to suicide themselves, because uh, whilst I found this quite amusing, uh, it could have gone horribly wrong. So, <laughs> just, uh, we'll, we'll just give up, give a, uh, let this, uh, sorry, let this battle end, because give up on the charging out the general's plan. That's what I was trying to say, for Pete's sake. Anyway, yes, do what you can, but for now the tower's just going to do their filthy work. They seem desperate to shoot up at us, which just means they're going to die. Finally, the rest of the units come into battle, and it's because after about five minutes they managed to kill one of our Arkebusiers. Lovely. These cannons will just shoot at the guys at the rear there. Handgunners are coming into our handgunners. Anytime you want to, you know, maybe shoot, that would be lovely. Why have you rearranged your own position? 
I don't know, I don't know. Get yourselves back in position, you utter fools. Archibuses are so annoying. At least musketeers are excellent units, but these guys are just rubbish. Right, you my good sir, are you managing to shoot those guys back there? I hope you are. Now some of the archibuses are at the back there, so I might need to start moving forward for them. But, in other news, the cannons should be ready to shoot them down potentially in a moment. Let's go and get these guys forward. Unfortunately the trap isn't going to work because we're a little bit too close. We should have done this further back actually. But there we are, we live and we learn. You guys get in there. You guys should be shooting any day you want to actually help. That would be magnificent. And if we have to pull the rest into the trap then we'll do just that. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Oh, excellent. Okay, so we're going to try and get a few more shots in out of our own civilians. Um, okay, yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 that's what you want. Flaming shots! Ahoy! That almost did actually got a good job. Almost also hit our own men. God knows what's going on, but it's just a cycle of uh, retreats now. Well, it says only half the enemy force remains, but I can't help but notice that they all seem pretty much dead at this point. They've been running back from the plaza. They never actually made it anywhere near. But um, at this point, yeah, the anyone who does run away just gets slaughtered by Arcabusiers. Apart from this one, it just seems to be able to live forever. So, yeah, shoot them down so that they don't actually uh, come back. I don't really want to have to, uh, yes, deal with ransoming and all of that nonsense. Let's just shoot them down. You don't have to worry about them that way. There we go. Victory and glory. Yep. Run them down, General. You will never get there, but we might as well give the order. But once again, a glorious victory at Cordoba. It has been, um, well... An exceptionally strong victory, to be honest. It did start a bit suicidally, and if we've learned anything, it's that these generals really, really don't hold up against these, uh, well, these are late game units, aren't they? They really don't hold up, and uh, with quarter size strength anyway, they, um, okay, we've got to bear that in mind. We can do a general only duel, but not in gun range, damn it. Um, I would say if we, if you, if you think I got lucky there, I feel I got unlucky before, so I would say. That's evened itself out. Casualties inflicted mostly the towers, really. We've not done a huge amount. But, you know, some work has been done. Even those archivists on the wall only actually killed 15. And the few stragglers go back to Granada. And the Portuguese continue to wander. But nothing too much of interest. Okay. All right. More and more family members. Margarida. And Orgusto. That sounds, that sounds awfully like a male. We actually have a male. Oh, the king has had himself a new son. Oh dear, we're going to have a dynastic struggle, aren't we? We have to kill off Emilio now. Sorry, Urica. Um, Okay, the king has a new son. We do actually have a son of the king's blood. Okay, that is interesting. Well, we have three daughters, and they're all going to be princesses because they're going to be of the king. So we're going to have a pile of princesses all at once in the future. So we'll have to see uh, if we can make use of that in about 15 years' time. Okay, so Augusto, be a while until he's useful, but we do have Joao. Of course, things looking pretty good, pretty good. We've settled things down with Sicily. They're now neutral, which is nice. And... Whilst they haven't left properly, they're at least on the boat. So, okay, let's get Joao back into our territory. And we'll put up a watchtower, probably in our little valley over here. That would be magnifico. Right, you go over to Toledo for now, because at least it, uh, it uh, is central enough. We can reinforce Leon quickly if we need it. But we do... Yes, need to get ourselves a boat out of there. And we're going to head up north and fix those walls. We're going to fix these walls as well after those sieges. And can we just merge a little bit? We can merge a little bit, but these two will need individual retraining. Fine, 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 fine. But it's the new turn, and looks like we are now ready. <laughs> Leave these la. Okay, aggressive march, but putting so many other faction out, I think it's going to be your job to go and get Granada. Um, King Fonso, well, actually, you know what? You can go along with him. You can go with him. I think we're going to need him, actually. 
So we'll grab them. We'll leave this uh, Craven Coward behind, actually. Take some of equipment. You go and join with him. Go and stand on the river. And Cordobet is not happy about that. So it shouldn't be. Did he pick up anything there? He picked up... Pro he already, I think he already had that. So he hasn't lost anything, possibly because he wasn't the general. Fine. I would say, yes, he's maybe more of an assaulter than uh, a defender of walls. So there we go. All right, 66. We'll go and take Granada and we'll finish the day there, I think. Seems like we found Roy a lovely wife. You know what? We'll take her. No idea what she's like. Are we going to get any information about her here? No, she's just a generic lass. Fair enough, you are just the adopted son. But you could still become useful in the future. Worse with Sicily, very poor, don't know how. Venice and Hungary, we have a Catholic war at last that doesn't involve us. And okay, more and more things getting complete, which is good because our money is, well, it's not getting depleted too quickly. We've done a good job of investing, but uh, also, yeah, also making sure that we still have a little bit left in the bank. So I'm quite pleased with that so far. Got ourselves the port at long last that we need over there. And we did have a priest here. How are we doing with that little papal mission? 59. Marvellous. Just go stand on the bridge. That will be great. And, well, as for all of this, it's time to go and clear these guys off. Them in the field means that the city is empty. So, okay, that's good. That's just what we want to see. And we blocked off the short-term reinforcements. Let's hit him. And we'll take them down. These mercenary archibuses do seem... Less stupid than mine, but it might just be the way I'm looking at it. Okay, let's hit in, let's clear them out. At the moment, this is very much going in my favour. 3% to 26. That is almost entirely just down to the height advantage. There's probably a little bit going on from these guys on the flank, but I'm not sure they have much of a shot. I think they're just taking out this one unit. So they're not being hit, but they are at least doing something, probably. Um, if any luck, we might actually be doing something with the siege equipment for once. That'll be nice. Can you do something? Yeah! Someone... I just saw Steve, some Steve go down. That's nice. Excellent work. Um, right, cannon. Are you going to do much? I want to see their stats at the end of this. Time to actually do some work then with the generals. We're going to charge him down the hill. This time we should actually get our lances in play properly because we are on this occasion. Actually, we have a nice lineup for the charge. They are running away, but... Come on, we got the downhill. Enemy generals fleeing, that's nice to see. These guys are way out of position. We got almost nothing in on that charge. Okay, general got himself in a terrible position. You guys went a bit wonky, but that's okay, probably. Archibus is getting themselves shot down. You know what? Oof, there goes their camera. Right, you might just uh, get yourselves over there and you can uh, line up to kill this last unit. Because weirdly... The unit that looked the most likely to flee is actually the first one, or the last one, standing pretty much. Because these guys are pretty much all entirely gone. Okay, we'll shoot them down, that way we don't have to worry about any ransoms. Uh, I don't want to worry about actually giving them back, and I don't want to appear horrible by slaughtering them all. So we'll just kill them in the battle instead. That way, we completely get away with it. Charge them down, in we go, and we've completely failed again. But we have we've at least routed them this time. That's good. Nice job. We'll just get the king out of there. No need for you to do any of that, my good sir. At this point, all units, um, apart from you, off auto fire. Just start running them down. Okay, charge at them. Get them slain. Victory is ours. Well, King Alfonso the Crusader there with only 9th men lost. It was a shootout, but a shootout up a mountain. So there we are in Granada region. I didn't quite see where we are. Somewhere near Malaga. I assume. But uh, we'll head back to the campaign map. And at this point, we should be pretty much free to walk on in. We'll release the few men there are because we are good people. And by good people, I mean we take your city. So um, we went a little bit more uh, total war Eastern Europe there for a moment. But time for the final battle. Into Granada we go. Well, with nobody guarding the gate, then we've decided to immediately demolish the front gate and stroll on into the castle because that's clearly their best way of defending a castle. Don't really know what their tactics are here, other than to hold the plaza, but in this type of castle, 
It's very easy to come and get men to stand up on the walls here and shoot down. That is very much what I plan to do, although I don't know if they'll figure that out because the occupuses were struggling with that when I asked them to do it in our city. But if I'm in their city, they might figure that out. So we'll see. We're still discovering if uh, these units are going to be sensible or not. But in general, we'll just get ourselves in a good position. Well, it does sound like some of our men are actually now shooting. It might be them, though. Can you shoot down? About two of them are currently shooting down. That's interesting. Interesting to see that they don't actually know how to do any of this nonsense. So you guys get yourselves into position. In fact, you guys just get yourself here. Um, yes. So when they're up on the walls here, unlike archers and crossbows, they are really not very capable of working this out, which is irritating. You can sometimes get them... So yeah, as the attacking force, they'll stand this side of the wall, but they're not doing a great job of finishing this off, which is quite annoying. Right, you go face them, you go face them. General is on the plaza. Lovely. We should probably mop these up, but actually it looks like the Archibuses are doing their job with them. Fine. It's going to be a slow and painful affair. We're just going to charge down this unit before it makes it to the plaza, because we want the timer to run out, because actually... It's way too tedious of a gunfight. So uh, happily, for, if they want to let 47 seconds pass away, I'd much prefer it, actually. Because God knows... The alien really doesn't know how to cope with these kind of armies, does it? Oh, no! They're going to reset the timer! <laughs> we'll take it, because frankly, this is just a little bit silly. Okay. King Alfonso the Crusade has won one more victory, and I think it... Oh, would it be his last... He needs to go and sit with all of his chivalry and grow our cities now. Um, we need to grow them. I mean, a city that'll be nice because then we can get everything. So that's now the plan. He's got the chivalry he will ever need. Well, let's head back to the campaign map. And uh, I don't. I think we'll just occupy. I think we should be able to get away with that over castle. In we go. They're already green. Occupy. Good for the reputation. And uh, our front of the crusader feels loyal. I hope so. Apparently gained to dread, which is probably just for the doomness of that victory. But there we are. Okay, fine. Well, you know, it's got plenty of chivalry. And as you can probably see from the population growth, 3.5% is just him. Excellent news. So we have 1,600 here, which is not big at all. Call of the Bar, on the other hand, they are 15,000. So I'm going to send him back there next turn so we'll leave him here for the, for the moment but we'll obviously change that around only 13 percent catholic we need to change that right now get the chapel um mines are very close we'll get the small church there soon enough but you know what ladies and gents i think this is a good place to end it obviously we need to mop up farage over here but aside from that we've got the start we want we've got alliance of portugal We've cleared out the moors. We've got the Reconquista completed. And um, yeah, it took about 250 years between Cordoba and Granada in real life. I think they just got busy killing each other again, all the, uh, all the Christians. But um, there we are. 1492 was the fall of Granada. And we've done it in the year 1414. Oh, oh 1414, 1114. Oh, well, 1414 would still be ahead of schedule, but uh, apparently I can't read. So yes, 1114. So... 18 turns in, we've got this all back. How long until um, Valencia? We haven't actually been asked to take Valencia. I kind of expect that is the case, unless I'm just misreading that message. Yeah, the Pope is trying to get us to do spread the word, but we've not actually had the Valencia mission. Interesting. Well, we're going to deal with Elson at some point. Uh, I'm not sure what that will be, but uh, one day... We'll get to it. For now, though, I think this has been long enough. I will leave you. I'm Thomas. This is Tenez the Human. And uh, this has been a uh, Spanish Reconquista Gunpowder Only Challenge. Thank you. And bye bye. Today, we're going to go for particularly aggressive diplomacy. Oh! Oh, yes. It worked. Kablamo! <laughs> You're always going to die, Steve. Oh! My feudal knights! My crispy, crispy feudal knights. The ram's burning. <laughs> right at the death.